Tor Dan, the guy who uh, the fourth place, and they just launched himself trying to they get uh, there. And, you know, that's just, my coach has always told me, you know, you just, um, that doesn't really how you finish. Yeah. Well, you don't want to get hurt. move to a hinge squat combination. So I'm going to turn to the side. You're going to hinge here so your back is flat. Then you're going to drop into a squat, stand back to your hinge, and stand up. Just get about five or six of these at your own pace. So because you can get back in a hinge, dropping them in that deep squat, lift, and bring your hips forward. You should feel your posterior chain. That's all those muscles from the bottom of your feet down to or up to your back. Really feeling those connections there. All right, we're going to do a few walkouts into planks. So we'll go ahead and hinge the same way you just were, and then drop your hands to the floor, walk out to a plank. Pulling crap or push up while you're down here, and then walk back up. Straight legs, just as straight as you can keep them. Roll up and just do that again. Hinge, so that good stretch in those hamstrings. Reach for the floor, walk out to a good plank. Grab that push up, walk it back up. Do that again, hinge, reach, walk it out, push up. All right, go ahead and hold your plank here after that push up and bring your left foot forward. Keep your right hand planted, you can drop your back knee. We're going to rotate our thoracic spine. Reach up, hang goes behind your head, and rotate in, and then open up, and reach. There's five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and return to your plank. Bring 
your right foot forward, drop your left knee, open up, put your hand behind your head, and let's start those rotations. There's one, two, really try to twist right there in the middle of your back is what you're twisting. Two more. And last one here. Alright, go ahead and kneel on your mat. Put your toes underneath your heels. Go ahead, go ahead and sit back on your heels just the best that you can. Doing a good plantar stretch of your feet. One of my favorite stretches for getting um, the bottom of my feet. To get a good stretch. That doesn't look like you're doing much, but it is a great stretch, especially if you can kind of relax your toes, let them just bend underneath you. We're going to be eventually doing a little bit of jumping, at least you have potential to do some jumping, so warming up your soles of your feet really well is important. All right, then I'm going to have you bring one leg forward here, and you're going to just Sit back the best that you can here, doing the back of that leg. Still, still pushing into that toe back here so you get a plantar stretch and hamstring. All right, and then let's switch. And you're going to get your quad too on the other leg. It's a lot of, a lot of stretches, stretching happening. Okay, so get back into that toe. Come on back. All right, we're gonna get a few rotations here of our hips. So sit up in your shin box seat. Uh, soles of both feet are facing this about the same way. And then if you wanna start this with your hands behind you and just start these rotations, kind of letting those hips get warmed up. And then if you're once you feel like they're warm, come on up and try to do it with no hands down. Just rotating, get about six rotations here, and then we'll hinge. The mat's kind of moving around a little bit. Around this next one, square up your chest with your knee, sit up tall, hands next to your head, and hinge right at your waist, dropping your chest down to your knee, and then come on up. Let's hit that a couple more times. And one more. All right, rotate. And we're gonna go to the other knee, square your, I can already tell the side's tighter. All right, square your chest up, hands next to your head, and hinge. Oh, yep. Ooh, that left hip is always a little tighter for me. Or maybe it's weaker, probably weaker. <laughs> weaker and tighter. All right, we'll call that good for our um, mobilizing and warm up, and we will get started. Three rounds of fun today. First is low impact, but longer um, intervals. Second is medium, second round will be medium impact and a little bit shorter, so kind of medium length on our intervals. And the last round will be high impact, but short intervals. So when it gets a little a little harder, it'll get a little shorter. Right. First movement we're going to do, you're going to step back, reverse lunge, then from there you're going to lift. So you feel a glute squeeze here, and you're going to return. Here, here, you're alternating. Drop, lift, return. Do 
You want to really feel that glute squeeze, and you're alternating each time. We're going for one minute on this round for each movement. All right, ready? And go. Reverse lunge, lift, and return. If you're not feeling a good glute squeeze and a little hamstring there, then you're not doing it right. If you're lifting from your hip, and return. And have your toes stay pointed to the ground. So you're not opening your hip when you lift that glute. I say that to myself as much as anyone. I uh, tend to want to rotate there. About 10 more seconds. Like I said, this is a little more low impact. Doesn't mean you're not working just because you're not gasping for breath. Three, two, one. All right, next movement. We're gonna be down on the on our mats. We're gonna do a plank to a pike and reach combo. So you'll be here at a plank, and then you're going to pike and do an alternating reach. Plank, pike, reach, reaching for your toe. Some of you will be able to reach your toe, some of you won't. Like me. <laughs> All right, 60 seconds. Plank, hike, reach, all, um, opposite hand to opposite toe, alternating. Ready and go. Plank, hike, reach.
side elbow to our knee to elbow, and then half where you alternate with that little twist. I'll call halfway. You can switch right knee to left elbow and, and left to right at halfway. Coming up here in three, two, and if you want to alternate to get a little twist here of your hips. Nice and slow. If you're weirdly challenging, so if you're not going fast, but boy, did they get that core. Almost there. Three, two, and done. All right, that's our four movements. We're going back to reverse lunge with that glute lift. This. Keep it up. Keep that toe pointed to the ground. Don't let your toe start turning toward a wall. Try to keep your hips square, not opening them up. Three, two, and done. All right, let's go right down into our plank, hike, and reach. seconds starts right here plank hike reach Ooh, I'm touching my toes this time <laughs> gates of mobility there maybe with those uh, open the gates as I used to see all the hurdlers do on the track team. I never did hurdles. I think I'd be better at them now than I was even in high school. I would, would still, still wouldn't be good at them. But I can jump better now than I used to. And if you've seen me jump, that means you know that I was really bad at jumping <laughs> in high school. <laughs> I was faster than now. <laughs> Almost there. Yeah, we, my husband and I did 800s on the track. Three, two, and we're there. Last, uh, last Wednesday morning. And uh, just 
funny car speed. Yeah, down for uh, mountain climbers. It was really hard, you know, doing 800s. We did five of them. And I thought about what, how fast we went. And uh, in high school, I could go like 40 seconds faster. <laughs> for, for one, I mean, it was my race pace, but still, <laughs> my practice 800 pace was, was probably 20 seconds faster. All right, one minute starts right now. Um, we're doing mountain climbers. 30 seconds, same side, knee to elbow, nice and slow, and you slow mine down a little bit. Keep it slow. Deliberately keeping your, I'm gonna bring my shoulder blades together a little better than we've been. I have a mirror in here, it helps to see. All right, now you can alternate opposite knee to elbow. Core stays engaged, I'm starting to sweat. Deceptively, they're all kind of deceptively hard. <laughs> Even though we're not going really fast. All right, three, two, and done. Whew. All right, one more time through these. Going back to reverse lunge with the glute lift, 60 seconds. these um, interval rounds, we're um, kind of crossing into some different energy systems. This is almost crossing into the cardio um, energy system because we're going for so much longer, or we're, uh, it's not what it's called, it's like called the cardio energy system, but the energy system we use. All right, that's time for longer cardiovascular endurance. And the um, middle one is gonna, so that's mostly using, getting to where you're starting to use a little bit of fat stores and, um, and then glycogen, the glucose system. And um, our next one will use primarily glucose. And our last one will go get into the creatine phosphate system because it's a lot faster, um, shorter bouts. All right, let's go to our plank to pike. 60 seconds starts right here. Plank, pike, and reach. Each of these is getting up. more mobile with each round. I don't know if everyone else is like that. I've been reaching my toes every time to get further back. Yeah, I can, I can hardly reach my toes. Good. Practice makes proficient, right? Still not perfect, but getting better. Almost there. Seconds. All right, 
ready, set, and go. Think about your knee going three quarters of the way around the clock. It's right here. I mean, it's kind of all going all the way around, right? It's just the clock almost shaped more like a balloon. But like a, like a I guess I have balloons in my mind. We're, that's what we're drawing in my art class this week. <laughs> kind of drawing this. Yeah, just try to go all the way around the clock here each time. Ten more seconds. All right, and you're there. All right, we got one more set of mountain climbers. Slow and controlled, first 30 seconds. Same knee to elbow, same elbow. And then we'll alternate the last 30 seconds. Maybe we should go back to bear crawls. Just go with this. You don't like mountain climbers? <laughs> We're bear claw crawls are coming up, round two. <laughs> All right, ready, set, and go. Slow and controlled mountain climbers here. Just hate to let your toe hit as they come forward. You don't have to keep it up, keep it up in the air. seconds but we're gonna have two sides we're doing a reverse lunge Whew, catch my breath. and driving your knee this is medium impact we're not adding a hop on this this reverse lunge so you're dropping your back knee then driving it up we'll do 40 seconds and switch and get the other side Whew, heart rate's already up all right, ready, set, and go. Try and drop into your heel. 
front leg. seconds on this side and let's switch other side here drive that knee drop it and then drive it weight your front heel so you feel that hamstring working on the front leg Ten more seconds. Three, two, and done. All right, we're gonna go back down to our mats for our next medium impact movement. We're doing a rolling side plank with a hip dip. At each plank. So you'll be here, drop, drive, and roll. Drop, drive, switch your forearm, and we'll start here. I <laughs> gotta my breath. All right, 40 seconds starts in three, two, and go. Drop, drive, switch forearms. Do a 20 second break here and we're going to go to those quick switch speed skaters. I'm going to kind of do these from an angle. I don't want to step on my mat. So you're going to cross the leg back and tap the floor and then you switch. But you're not doing a big hop. It's really far. You have a real narrow start and then you just switch. Uh, if I face you, this is what it looks like. All right, 40 seconds. Um, I'm going to angle myself this way. Ready, set, and go. Right, 
reverse lunge knee drive. And get yourself set up for 20 seconds post pass here. Ready, set, and go. Weight in that front heel, drive the knee up. Switching sides here in three, two, and switch. here in three two and go drop drive roll Almost there, about five seconds. Four, three, two, and you're there. All right, two down, one to go for our medium impact round. Whew. Hope you're not scared of high impact. It'll be short. It's gonna be shorter. Uh, I'm a little scared, <laughs> so I'm tired, but I'm telling myself right now, it's going to be, there'll be, there'll be a lot shorter intervals. All right, bear, step back, push up. I'm going to actually do this one right here this time. 40 seconds, starts right here. Keep those knees low. Core 
engaged. Good job, Mike. Dropping that back knee. Good job. Third night now, I'm getting comfortable with this. I think this is one that people overthink. You know, getting the arm swing right. Yeah, right. Three, two, get ready to switch right here. We did these one day with the track team, and uh, the youngest kids caught it there, <laughs> like the little kids. And it's, I think it's because they didn't overthink it, you know? Ten more seconds. And that's time. Whew. Okay. All right, quick switch speed skater. Last round of these. Ten seconds. And that's time. Woo! All right, grab a good drink. We got our high impact round left. Just enough time to do it. These are going to be 20 seconds each. So we're gonna do them two times, at least for the first time through. We'll kind of watch our time. Next two rounds might only be once. But at least get our first round in, it'll be 2010, 2010, same movement, then we'll move on. 
You can modify these as you need to because some of them are kind of challenging. All right, first movement is a burpee to the floor. Doesn't mean you have to do like a strict push up. I want you to drop your body to the floor. So the difference is you come down here with stiff arms and then do a push up and then come up. That is harder than going down and as you throw your legs back, dropping your body to the floor. So it's a little bit of, save yourself a little bit of energy. You're still getting that press up with your chest. So you're gonna do that, plus you come down, up, and you come up, I want a tuck jump. If you can't get a tuck jump, you just wanna do a regular jump, it's great. If you don't wanna jump at all, you wanna step it, that's great too. 20 seconds, all you gotta do though. All right, at a time. 20 seconds at a time. All right. Make sure my mat's out of the way. I don't want anything to do with it during these because it's too slippery. All right, ready, set, and go. So down to the floor, up, tuck. Three, two, one. Take a break. You need it. All right, next one's about to start. Same thing again, 20 seconds, starts right here. Starting here in three, two, and go. All right, and that's time for your second round of those with the second set. All right. Next movement, we are doing crab cakes. I just haven't done these in a while. But they're, they're right here. I like to turn to the side, right here. Bust off the floor. You can have your hands forward. Some people find they like their hands out to the side. It kind of, it's really a matter of preference as far as people's elbows. There isn't, I, so I don't think you want it all the way back. I'd say out to the side or facing forward. I like mine forward. And then you're just gonna go like this. All right, for 20 seconds. 
We need like some uh, polka music on right now. <laughs> All right. Ready, set, and go.
that's time on the first one. Take a break. All right, next 20 seconds starts. We'll give you a full 20 second break. And go.